Hi, my babies. So I've been crying all day because, like, I just realized that, like, not all men are bad, but, like, this dude that I was talking to for so long just made me feel so, like, bad about being, like, who I am or, like, the fact that I had to be who I am only for him. And I realized that, you know what, I like doing i like being who i am because i like being who i am it's not because i'm this a, a man so i really want to work on my spirituality for 2021 because like was that the fire alarm is that me is that me wait what is that me i don't think that's me it went off. Oh my gosh. I'm so, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, I've been crying like all day. And like, I'm going to spark this up again. And then we're going to light us a candle, do some tarot card readings, and let me know. And like, I hope that my spirit guides and the divine feminine comes into play because I need answers, girl. I am all over the place. I am a hot mess. I made this dress, by the way. So if you guys want to check it out, go to drewskyling.com. <laughs> okay. So I'll be using the writer's tarot deck today. I have two decks, but one is kind of like a practice deck. This is my official deck. And um, yeah, we're just going to go straight into the reading for what has, what does the Divine Feminine and the Spirit Guides have for me during retrograde. Um, and yeah, if you like these videos, comment down, subscribe. I don't know how this works. I'm so old school. I'm so like, not 2020. I'm like, 1920s. <laughs> but like, yeah, we're just gonna um, hop straight into it, shall we? So, let me do a little prayer. And then we're gonna see what is coming for me for retrograde. Okay, Divine Feminine, please tell me what is in store for me during retro... Oop. Sorry, what is in store for me during Mercury and Retrograde? What is in store for me during Mercury and Retrograde? Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate Okay, so so far these three cards literally came out. And like if you literally look at my last post, you will understand why. Oh my god. Yeah. I basically finding out the truth about a lover. And this is me crying. So, we're right on track. <laughs> And yeah, this is probably his other woman that he's been talking to. Pretty accurate. But High Priestess is at the bottom of the deck, so I I'm, I hate to say it, but I kind of saw, you know, like, that coming. I just, it's, it's weird. It's just that I just don't believe in myself, guys. Like, I have low self-esteem. I have low self-esteem, and I do not believe in myself. I don't even trust myself half the time. So, like on like a really like on like a real like tt note like i need to put more like love into myself and i hope that 2021 gives me that you know like i want to give myself so much self-love like i feel like i've been giving so much love to people and eat be that be like for money or be that be for like um i genuinely like them i had to put in so much for others and like this year i want to put in love for me what else is in store for me, Divine Feminine? Ooh, the Ace of Wands. The Two of Swords. And the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. So, for, for a fact, a new beginning. But it's almost kind of like this new
It's almost kind of like this new beginning is going to kind of make me feel left out, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Self-sabotage. A lot of self-sabotage. <sighs> I know. I know. I know I should not be doing that to myself. I know I should not be self-sabotaging myself. Okay. Um, let's, di 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 let's divert this attention. Okay. Um, what is the... What, what, what can I learn from Mer Mercury in retrograde? And by the way, like, I shuffle these cards specifically for me. I really don't know how to shuffle, but I am trying to get answers on my life because I am so clueless right now. I literally been crying all day. And, like, it, this is just a tarot card reading, so I'm not about to get into, like, why I've been crying all day. But I've just been really crying all day. And so I did my makeup. I put on this dress that I made. And I'm just trying to do, like, the best I can, you know. What can I learn during my free breakfast, right? I'm gonna just pull out a card. Follow my intuition. What? This is exactly what I need to learn is follow my intuition. Stop, stop self-doubting myself and stop feeling like I don't deserve the best. Like I, I do deserve the best. Like I'm a Pisces, I'm a high priestess. Gosh. You know, and balance. I need to focus on that balance. What else can I learn from this retrograde? Or better yet. Better yet, how do... Going back to these three cards... How does this person feel? How is this person karma? I just want to. I just want to know, like, how is this person's karma right now? Yes, this person. He feels left out and deserted because you did that to me. Uh. You're such a such a dick, bro. Like this is exactly his karma. His karma. <laughs> Like, what, like, see, like, karma, y'all, is so real. Like, what goes around comes around. So be nice to everybody and have the best intentions. Because you don't know when, like, life is going to slap you in the back of your, back of your nuts. And you're going to be calling for somebody. <laughs> so he's, feel, he's feeling left, left out. What else is he feeling? Or what? Or what else will he be feeling during this Mercury and retrograde? Mm hmm. Juggling between two decisions, he was juggling between me and a woman. Y'all, come on. Uh, this is literally what, what my spirit guys told me. Trust your trust yourself, baby girl. You know the answers. You know the answers, and you know your potential. Stop falling for these guys. You know yourself. You know you're beautiful. And see, like, and now, and now he's looking at me. Now he's looking at me and he doesn't know that, he doesn't know if he made that right choice. He doesn't know that he made this, that right, that right choice. But honestly, I can't blame him either because I was self-sabotaging myself. I was having self-conflicts with my own self. Shoot, I didn't even know what I wanted. <laughs> you you know it was kind of just a hot mess for both of us we just and, and i told him that like i told him i said that this isn't good if we get together but he didn't care and i guess i was too lonely to care either um what is the outcome what is the outcome of my january what is the outcome of january for me 
the hangman. Mm-hmm. A lot of self-realization. <laughs> As you can see right now, a lot of self-realization, a lot of um, going within, a lot of self, like, recollection, a lot of realizing what I need and what I need to further my life and benefit my life and benefit my brand and benefit myself as a person you know like we all all through social media and stuff we always want to talk about oh like um oh like oh like it's just my brand that i need to worry to worry about but money y'all money is not it like it's so much more like you have to build you have to build yourself up and like i'm trying to build myself up this year and it's freaking hard like whoever builds themselves up kudos to you girl because this is hard like i cried all day just because I didn't know what to do, you know? So, like, it is hard. It It is it is hard to do that sh shadow work. For sure. Mm-hmm. Give myself the happiness. I have to... What, I, what I'm going to learn in January is that... What I'm going to learn in January is that I need to go within and I need to give myself that happiness that I deserve. I need to give it to myself before anybody else gives it to me. I need to give that flower to myself and say, you need to heal. That's when I need to know. That's when I need to know. Okay. This has been a doozy. Um, please thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. If you're following my journey, I know I'm a hot mess, girl. Bear with me. Bear with me. We have a whole year to go. <laughs> but... But thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I know that like life is a roller coaster. Shoot, this is honestly brand new to me too. So if you like these videos, please just like let me know. Like it means the world to me because I'm so lonely and I'm so lost and I don't have any friends. And I and I don't even like the location that like I'm currently in right now. I have no family. Like I just am lonely and like it just it just hurts, you know. So like thank you guys for being here or thank you guys for even like coming here it means the world to me i love you my babies stay safe stay cute 